Thank you. He is known around the world for his accomplishments. Not only did he make it into space aboard two NASA shuttle missions, he made it into the history books. As we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, we're heading to Albuquerque, New Mexico, where his story began. But as Crystal Gutierrez tells us, his journey is far from over. I remember one uh, individual a little bit older than me who told me, you know, there's no way you're going to be an astronaut. I was like, why? And he said, um, they're never going to pick a kid from New Mexico. Sidney McNeil Gutierrez, also known as retired Air Force Colonel, to the world NASA astronaut. I'm the first U.S. born Hispanic astronaut, yes. What a, what a title. <laughs> Did you ever think that hire was going to be bestowed upon you? Um, I always wanted to be an astronaut. As it accomplished his first goal by making it into the Air Force Academy, he would soar past his second goal and became a pilot, flying the F-15s, becoming a pilot instructor, then becoming a test pilot for the F-16s. He wasn't done just yet, though. He would apply to NASA, and you guessed it, he'd get that call. How old were you then? I was 30, I think I was 32. 32 years old. Yeah. Getting a call from NASA. Yeah. Saying, come on down. Right. The first person he called, his wife, Mary Ann. Did you ever think he was going to reach that goal? I thought if anybody could, he could. He's a very determined person. In 1991, Sid, the first U.S.-born Hispanic astronaut, would head into space aboard shuttle Columbia. With the tragedy of the Challenger fresh on their minds, Sid suited up, boarded the shuttle, and looked it off. You saw it going up, but feeling those shock waves against your chest uh, made you realize that they're really going into space. In 1994, Sid became the first Hispanic to ever command any space mission, including Russian missions. I never saw it as being a Hispanic astronaut or whatever. I was just an American astronaut. Sid is not done exploring yet. He owns and runs a rocket company based in Florida as he works to keep space exploration going. Persistence pays off, Christy, but he does not live in Florida. After retirement, he moved back to Albuquerque's North Valley, just down the street from his childhood home.